For our exhibition, Drink, Dance and Decadence, I'd been doing quite a lot of work on the social life of the house, and that included the music. Country house music isn't really the area that's most studied or most talked about in historic house visiting, so it's something that I really wanted to pick up on. So I decided to create a project that not only told the hidden histories of the music collections, but which also picked up on the hidden histories of the print collections, which our visitors so rarely get to see because the light levels are so damaging to them, so we really can't display them as much as we'd like. A lot of the stories that come out are about uh, three people in particular, which is uh, Talbot, Marianne and Thomas Aston Clifford Constable. Marianne with her singing and her piano and Eliza with her harp, Thomas Aston with his violin. They turn this place into a real centre of society with their plays and their music nights. The Humber Museum's partnership team were really good throughout the process of application in advising us on what we could do to make the application stronger. We wanted to create a guided tour of three rooms of the house which hadn't previously been available to members of the public. And this tour would take in uh, a section about the music, so it would talk about who the family were who were living here and what they were playing and why this collection is so extraordinary in country house studies but also another room looking at the print collections and we would buy uh, specialised racking so that we could store the collections better, but also promote access to researchers so that we really help academics. And it would also take in a new gallery which we would do up from scratch so that we really had uh, somewhere that we could display those print collections better on a rotating basis and really let people kind of explore those. We had to take care of redecorating the rooms ourselves because that wasn't included in the funding. Other than that, everything has been covered by that grant. Sarah Oswald was brilliant. She's actually done some training for us as part of the grant on interpretation training. And she was actually also really helpful when it came to another part of the project, which was getting some of the historic music recorded so that we can actually let our visitors hear it as well as simply looking at it and hearing about it. Getting the rooms into shape has been challenging. There's been quite a lot more collections that we've turned up that we didn't expect to find necessarily, which obviously we're having to find new homes for. But for the most part so far, it's gone largely to plan other than the fact that we just ended up behind schedule because when we first put in the application for this funding, we hadn't actually banked on being given an extra £2,000 to work with the University of Hull. And of course we needed to fit in with their term times, we need to get the recording done before the house opened to the public. And simply trying to choose the pieces of music for it took a lot longer than I had anticipated. So everything in the project got moved further back, so we are still behind schedule. But we're quite happy that we can make up that time before the project finishes. The support that we've received in the evaluation process for the project has been really useful and sort of the instruction throughout the project on evaluating as you go and on kind of giving us information on what evaluation will need to supply at the end has been really useful. It's also been very good that the funders are so available so you can contact them on just about any occasion for any reason so they've been really helpful in providing me with some legal advice regarding copyright. They've also when I was desperately short of time uh, managed to find me extra research volunteers who are ex-archive staff so that they could help me to go through the music selection and photograph pieces to send to the players. And because the team is so well connected and because the team are so well known in the local area, there's really nobody better place to find that sort of support than them.